Hello everyone, so this is a small project made with Qt, so basically it's a wrapper for OpenAI that provides uh, several services, for instance uh, chat, image, audio and moderation capabilities. So in order to use that, you want to go first on this website called platform.openai.com and create an API key that you're going to use in this API. So you can create one using by pressing this button and it's, uh, it's free and you can use it for a limited amount of, uh, of calls. So once you have that, uh, what I did is I created a constant in here in C++ and it's in a header file. So this is my private key and um, you're going to use it to set the API key to the uh, to those classes in order to use the functionality. So let me show you how it works. Uh, so this is just a basically a Q main window in which we're going to display the result of the queries uh, in, a, in a widget called Q text edit. So instead of displaying any output panel, it would be more elegant to see them on the window itself. So um, let me show you how it works. So let's start with chat. So I'm going to command this section. And here what we're doing, we're basically creating an instance of the chat of the queue, OpenAI chat class. And this will provide you with, will provide us with some uh, chat capabilities. We set the API key, we pass, this is a, basically a text string that we created on the website I just showed you earlier. And we're going to connect two signals, uh, one for the errors. So this is a Lambda function that returns an error, would print if there is an error, but in our case we won't have an error. And the other one is the signal finish that will notify us when there is a response. And we will display the messages in our widget on the window. And this is the call that we are looking for. So basically we're asking uh, OpenAI these questions. For instance, what is, it, what is a chatbot? And the first argument here, user, is just a standard argument. And this is what you want to use most likely. So let me compile this code, pressing F7. And I'm going to run it, and this is going to run asynchronously, so it's not going to be um, immediately showing you something. So let's wait a bit. Okay, so this is the reply that we got from this uh, callback here. And this is, uh, I'm going to just copy paste it and uh, put it in notepad and zoom a bit so you can see better. So this is the reply to, to the question. Uh, what is basically a chatbot, okay? So it seems pretty accurate. Um, so this is, this, uh, I'm not going to close it for now, I'm just going to clean it. Um, okay, so this was for the chat. So let me show you now what we can do with images. Uh, in the case of image, same process, we create an, an instance of this time QOpen AI image class set the, the API key, and um, when we get the signal finished, we're going to just print uh, the results in the window. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to ask the API to show me a running cheetah. The first argument is what you want to see on the picture, and the second is how many pictures you want of that. So uh, we, we chose to, to use two pictures. and. Let me compile the code and we have made a change and uh, let's run it. So we should see two URLs here. It's going to take a bit. So here are the two URLs. So I'm going to just go ahead and put them in a the new tab. So let's copy the first one, paste it here. And this is the first result, a running cheetah. And it's every time is different. So there's no way to predict what you're going to see. And the second one, I put it here. There we go. The second one, a running cheetah. Okay. Uh, there's another function we can do using images. We can create a variation of an image. In that case, I have an Apple image in one of my uh, folders. Um, I'm going to show you the image. So this is the one. 
So we're going to create a variation of this image and we're going to use the same API to upload it and retrieve the result. So let's compile this. F5. I'm going to wait a bit to see the uh, URL. Okay, so I'm copying this, uh, bringing back my uh, browser. Uh, where did I put it? Okay, paste it. Okay, so this is the variation. This is the original and this is the variation. Look pretty similar, but they are different, obviously. Okay. All right. So this was for the image. Uh, next is the audio section. Okay. Again, same approach. So what we're gonna do here is we got we have an MP3 file. I'm gonna play it a bit. So. And few individuals have had as big an impact on our collective imagination as Walt Disney. So I'm going to transcribe this MP3 into text. So basically what it's going to do is going to do a speech to text. So let's compile this. And let's run it. Should get uh, results. So here we go. So let's listen to the audio again to make sure that uh, it's accurate. And few individuals have had as big an impact on our collective imagination as Walt Disney. Welcome to the Canon Image Runner 60 Interactive Training CD. In this land, Hittites, Greeks, and Romans once laid claim to vast and powerful empires. ITT, a nonprofit organization, is an independently accredited institution of higher learning. Century 21 comes to you on the real net direct television, which offers a daily okay, schedule. So it seems pretty accurate. So this was the uh, speech to text. And uh, the next one, we're going to ask the API to translate us from a French audio file to English. So let's uh, listen to French for a, for a few seconds. La première fois que vous allez ouvrir une interaction client, vous serez dirigé. Okay. And let's run it. Okay, and let's verify it makes sense. La première fois que vous allez ouvrir une interaction client, vous serez dirigé vers la page d'identification. Il s'agit du mode par défaut utilisé pour toutes les interactions clients. Veuillez Yeah, those pretty, pretty accurate to me. Okay, so this was the audio. And the last one that we have is the moderation. And for the moderation, well, basically what we do is that we provide a sentence and this one is a bit aggressive. <laughs> I want to kill them. And you get back results and tells you if this sentence should be flagged and other parameters that are Booleans that are more specific to uh, why it was flagged. But there is also inside the structure more details about the the, um, the certainty of each each one, like a probability between zero and one and float. So let's see this one. So this one should be pretty uh, should be flagged, obviously. So let me run it. Yeah, you can see the flag is one, and violence is one. Everything else is zero. So now if I use a more Peaceful sentence, we shouldn't get any issue with this one. Yeah, so everything is clear. So there you go, you have it in a nutshell. Um, four different components that are calling the uh, Open AI API and usable from, uh, from Qt. That uh, wraps it up. So thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great one. Bye bye.